what's up you guys welcome back to another wonderful vlog this was a night where we decided to have a little get together uh, for Darren and all his friends for a stock investment conversation demonstration so check it out Damn, daddy Oh, you need to know the password? Yeah. What is you guys' favorite pizza company? Comment down below. Mine is definitely Domino's, sis. Well, my shit gotta be in the way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll take that then. I'll take it. One, two, three, go. You know, Bruh. You know, like that. Pop, pop, right? You even still sounded like it a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on. We love that. <laughs> we love that. We really love it. Yes. No, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? I like it like this. I know how to I am too. Fuck me. Oh, oh, I'm out too. What you mean? I, I just had to understand that concept about breaking the structure. You have a king, right? Mmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
100. It's, it's too many niggas that know the shit. It's right. Because if you look around and you hit a light bulb moment, you won't meet nobody. Oh, damn, I might gonna join back up. Yeah. That that wasn't that wasn't part of the the simulation. Okay guys, so I have my broccoli in the water and um, I'm just going to cut the stalk off and then I'll show you guys just how I make my broccoli. It's really easy and I can already smell the garlic starting to cook. Don't burn your garlic so you got to kind of watch it. I have mine on four so that's pretty low heat. Um, I mean if you burn it you burn it but try not to burn it once you smell the aroma I think you can get to cooking and then I have my water ready to boil with a little extra virgin olive oil so I'm just gonna add my shrimp and this is already cooked and deveined and detailed so I actually had to go to two different stores because uh, the food lion didn't have it all right so I'm gonna add my shrimp and then I'm gonna season it up you can use whatever seasonings you like I tend to really season it a lot, um, <laughs> but yeah, so let's see, I'm going to do the Creole, oh sorry guys, actually first I'm going to add my lemon and then I'm going to get to seasoning, you better be. So one lemon should do it. If you want to add more, be my guest. But one lemon should definitely do you. And I know shrimp is one of those things where some people are like, oh, it's so easy to cook. And for some people it's not because you don't really know. But again, when you buy it already cooked, I like to just flatten it out as much as I can so that I could flip it so basically when the shrimp turns clear some people say bright orange but I don't know for me it never turns bright orange maybe that's because it's already cooked duh so for me when it turns clear on one side I know it's ready to flip you know it's transparent and I can flip it and get the other side so but this shrimp you can actually eat it raw because it is already cooked so don't worry about it too much so that's the Tony. And then I'm going to, oh, oh my God. Shit. I'm going to add some cayenne. <coughs> Fuck. Not too much because my daughter's going to eat this. She's going to be crying and see how hot. I'm going to add a little adobo. This is the adobo without pepper. Um, that's the only choice they had with Instacart. Before I add my parsley, I'm just going to stir a bit just to make sure that uh, the garlic is getting on my shrimp nice and good. And I'm going to let it cook a bit and then I'm going to go in with some butter. Even though I added my extra virgin olive oil, I'm extra like that. I'll add the butter. My water is just starting to boil barely. So I'm going to wait until it boils all the way to add my pasta. All right, y'all. So when I'm unsure about the shrimp, I go ahead and taste it. Let me taste it. That's bad luck for you to taste your own stuff. 
It's the same thing. Ooh, what is this, velvet? Here. Oh my God. So it needs a little bit more seasoning, but it is done. It's hard for me to season stuff when my daughter is so like picky about what's hot and what's not. Need some butter in it. So I just put butter in it. No, that, that'll take the heat there. Cause it's just spicy, more spicy without flavor. But I like it like that. All right, so I'm gonna just add a little more Goya. What about Italian? You I don't this. want Italian in there. This boy trying to cook my food. What the? You said take the sheets off the bed. That's what I was gonna do. Let's see. Oh, old oh, bae. She just won't have to deal with it. Hold up. That's the thing I couldn't get. The old bae. Only a little. Let's add a little old bae. That's it right there. And then that should be straight. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. And then my pasta, not quite yet. So I'm gonna get ready to, you see I cut the stalks off of the broccoli, how beautiful is that? And then I'm gonna prepare that. All right, you guys, so simple stuff, just, no. <laughs> just strain the pasta like so. Ooh, it's heavy, it's heavy, so hurry up and put it back before you drop it. Ugh. Okay. And then you can just put a little bit of EVOO, but not too much because it'll make the noodles soggy, or you could just use butter. All right, so I put just a little bit of butter in here, and I'm just going to actually add my broccoli into this. And I like my broccoli a little crunchy because it still has the nutrients. When you overcook it and make it soggy, you lose out on a lot of nutrients. When your girl eats healthy, she's healthy. Don't try to complain me, all right? So, it would be a lot easier to do this in one go, but I only have two hands, so. You get the drift. Okay. And I'm gonna actually add a little water to this as well. Let me see. A little water. Oh, what's wrong? Hair? Oh, see, your hair got on my mouth. <laughs> it was a good fit too. Let's <laughs> your ass get. So yeah, this is such a simple meal. So um, I'll just show you it when it's plated um, and then we'll be good to go. And I'll add a little Parmesan on top. So we'll be right back. Bon appétit.